Thousands turned out to a protest in downtown Spokane Sunday afternoon. It started tense as a group crossed the street to where police and some counter protesters were. One person was arrested for trying to provoke people. The massive crowd then marched along Spokane Falls Boulevard. No justice, no peace, no racist police. Across the Monroe Street Bridge. And to the Spokane County Courthouse. I want my voice heard. I'm tired of us getting killed every day by the police and nothing being done. As you see over here, the police got their hands on their guns. Like you see that he got his hand on his gun while we are here peacefully protesting. What is that? Marquise Shadwick Tinsley says he wanted to have his voice heard because racism never went away. Racism is now going on, it's still a thing. When is America going to wake up and realize we are all one? Police in riot gear set up a line to block the public service area as protesters edged their way closer. It felt really nice to be brave. I'm not a brave person. Uh, I am very scared of cops as someone who did grow up um, ethnic. I have been stopped by more cops than I can think of. Protesters inches away from police for hours chanting George Floyd and I can't breathe. When I looked at George Floyd, I thought, wow, that could have been my dad. You know, that could have been my brother, that could have been me. The tense environment filled the air in the form of thousands of screams and chants. Lock me up, you can go home, kiss your baby, right? Until this. <laughs> Spokane police officers and Spokane County Sheriff's deputies, one by one, knelt in solidarity with protesters. You know, we were begging these police officers to walk with us. That's all we wanted. We want to feel like you're with us, not holding a gun to our head. It was what protesters wanted to remain peaceful and know they are being listened to. Video posted on Snapchat shows a small group of agitators running out of the Nike store on Main Street in Spokane with clothes in hand. That's when police started using crowd control tactics. When they started start firing it, you know, three of us were out between them and the crowd, you know, getting the crowd to back up. All of a sudden, they start tear gassing us. Peaceful protesters tried to block the storefronts so people would stop looting. Danielle Finley says she was there to provide medical attention. I see a man down. I come at them, my arms up saying, you know, I am a trained medical professional. Let me help them. I am not going to harm you. Just let me help them. I have stuff in my bag. She says more tear gas was fired and one canister hit her in the side. That's when this happened. Um, well, I mean, people were starting to get like really irate, but you know, we had people, you know, getting them to back up and everything. And you know, oh. Tear gas was fired right where our interview was taking place and our crew was forced to run for cover away from the gas as well. Police cleared one block at a time along Main Street, beginning at Cedar all the way to Division. Spokane Police Chief Craig Miles saying Monday he believes only about 500 or so people caused issues downtown and it doesn't represent the peaceful demonstrations earlier in the day. Our cameras witnessed rocks being thrown at windows, leaving holes in them. Wells Fargo and multiple other businesses all had their windows shattered as well. Graffiti was sprayed along the streets and on buildings. Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward condemned the destruction of downtown, saying this is not who Spokane is. Helicopters surrounded a small faction of agitators that remained as the sun set. Full water bottles were thrown at police, some even hitting them. That's when the final push by police began with tear gas, rubber bullets, and flashbangs. Hundreds were dispersed, and police say downtown was for the most part cleared out by 11 o'clock.